Hello you wonderful people I hope you all are doing absolutely fine welcome back to another video in today's video I will tell you all how artificial intelligence is revolutionizing biomedical engineering industry so if you are a college student if you are a working professional if you are a professor uh, stick through the video because I will tell you guys what artificial intelligence is how it is impacting the biomedical industry how it is used in the biomedical field and if you are a student you want to learn artificial intelligence what are the key tools that you should study and also i will tell you guys what to expect in the next few years so without further ado let's dive into the video cool so i believe you guys can see the screen how artificial intelligence is revolutionizing biomedical engineering let's go with the first slide what is ai right what is artificial intelligence in simple words i could explain ai as a machine that learns from data to make decisions right so that's the first point ai is a machine that learns from the data to make predictions it mimics human thinking that basically means like a machine that could think like a human being it recognizes the patterns and makes predictions again and in healthcare domain it's basically used to diagnose treat and prevent diseases at a faster pace cool so that is what ai is and how it is used in the healthcare industry now where is ai used in biomedical engineering right so there are like three major uh, places where these ai technologies are being used one is medical imaging so basically for imaging like tumor detection ct scan analysis or to develop a imaging technique to process the image at faster pace and things like that second is drug discovery basically uh, predicting effective compound using ai models with which you know you can do basic like the drug testing drug testing and things like that so the second purpose is for the discovery it can be of diseases as well and the last one would be wearables wherein you do real time monitoring of vitals like ecg spo2 and things like that pulse and things like that cool so the three main reasons why it is used in the biomedical field is for imaging for discovery and for monitoring real time monitoring okay next slide uh, medical imaging ai in actions so what is the use case of uh, medical imaging ai in action um, ai detects early stage cancer in x rays mri scans with high accuracy example can be deep mind's breast cancer detection model it reduces diagnostic time and improves precision which basically means uh, breast cancers can be detected at a faster pace and it can improve <laughs> the rate of precision and also which will in turn uh, give a patient a high chances of surviving through the disease right and a quote that you can take forward from this slide is ai doesn't replace doctors it enhances them that basically means ai is just a tool which uh, helps doctor to be more precise accurate in their day to day procedures next slide drug discovery and development so you know traditional drug development used to take 10 plus years to you know develop the drug test test it and you know go through the trials and th things like that but using ai it is speeding up the molecule prediction and testing basically means the process which used to take 10 years may now only take 5 to 6 or 7 years right so it's it's helping them to speed up the ai uh, molecule prediction and testing example can be uh, in silico medicine ai which is designed a drug entered clinical trials trials in less than 18 months right so using this ai feature there is a company called in silicon medicine ai which is designed and also entered drug tri drug clinical trials in less than 18 months which is less than two years right and it basically saves billions of dollars in research and development uh, industry next one would be wearable smart device and smart health which basically means AI would track your heart rate, blood sugar levels, sleep cycles, stress, and things like that. And devices can be, you know, common companies like Apple Watch, uh, Apple Watch, Fitbit, uh, CGMs for uh, diabetics, and things like that. And so basically, what it does is AI would learn the pattern. So let's say uh, it will keep tracking your heart rate, and as soon as it goes beyond uh, a certain reading, it will send you alert for abnormalities, so that you can be aware about what's happening with your body. Now, quickly telling how AI, AI actually works in biomedical domain. So it's a very simplified workflow. First is it collects data. It can be images, it can be biosignals, and then it cleans and labels the data. 
so basically it will segregate uh, all the useless data and then it will make it into uh, labels so that you can segregate between the datas uh, in as per you know your, your preferences now once the data is clean it will train the ai model using machine learning and deep learning algorithms so what is ai or what is ml or deep learning algorithm if you want to know that or if you want to learn more about it you should first start from the basics of uh, machine learning so i will tell you guys how you can start it as well in the following slides so what it basically does is it predicts the data then it validates the data and then deploys in real life application so basically it acquires the input which is a signal it cleans and processes it using an ai uh, ml or dl algorithm and then it gives you the output that the providers or you as a user can go through and analyze and make decisions accordingly so how you can start as a student right now most of you guys would want to start your career in the ai field specifically for biomedical engineering domain in that way first you should start with learning a programming language either you should study python or you should study ruby also known as r language once you're done with that you should study the libraries in each of them tensorflow keras and pytorch are the most important libraries that python libraries that you should learn in in, in 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 regards to getting becoming more successful in this domain at the same time you should also understand data sets like kaggle isionet these are the two platforms where you can find a lot of data sets from the healthcare domain use it for you know training your algorithms and things like that and the projects you can basically like you know uh, make a disease classification algorithm or biosignal analysis algorithm or a model which will and I'll take the biosignal, analyze it and give you, give you the output which is more precise than the existing traditional methods. And where you can study this, Coursera, FastAI, GitHub open source projects. These three are the platforms which you can refer to study and start your journey in the AI domain. Cool. Now, what's coming in 2025 and beyond, what you can expect in the next, few, next four or five or ten years is generative ai for protein and drug design you would be using ai to design proteins and you know drugs ai powered prosthetics so that's one major uh, domain you can focus on uh, you know prosthetics which is basically limbs and arms which is artificial and you are using ai to power these uh, prosthetics in different ways as per the use case digital twins of human organs now let's say you can make a digital twin of your human organ basically let's say if your heart based on the data for f of last 10 years right from the heart that we have collected if you process it and analyze it you can also predict what can happen in the future using ai so it is basically making a digital digital twin of a human organ and then studying that uh, and making precautions for the future and chat gpt style assistant in hospitals now like you're calling up hospitals asking if the doctor is there or not the easiest explanation is using ai you can automate the entire process a chatbot is taking the call and it is helping you book the appointment and things like that and one quote that you can take from this is tomorrow's doctor will prescribe algorithms alongside pills so maybe like there are days going to be you know coming in the future when doctors would suggest you that you know um, take medicine AI, medicine AI's uh, cancer detection algorithm test for you and you know you take your reports go there do this uh, entire process and then get the output and go back to the doctor and doctor and then doctor would prescribe you pills so you don't know what may happen in the future but it's having huge scope so finally the summary AI is not the future it's the present so basically you, do, you don't have to wait for the future it is all about the present using ai you can already make brown groundbreaking tools and uh, technologies using ai so don't wait for the future ai is the present so start your journey within uh, the ai domain biomedical engineering plus ai is equivalent to massive opportunity what basically it means is if you're struggling to get a biomedical engineering job all the people who are saying that biomedical engineering is not good learn biomedical engineering combine it with ai it will give you amazing opportunity in the market where you can expect good job high paying jobs in the coming years so upskilling is your superpower you can start with just laptop internet and a curious mind so if you want to upscale yourself all you need is a laptop internet and the curiosity or the hunger to learn and improvise on that domain so these are the key takeaways ai is the future in the biomedical industry as well it depends on you as an individual how you are understanding the requirements, equipping yourself and going and using those jobs in the industry. So I'll see you in the next with something new and until then, 
subscribe like and do share it with your friends who are wanting to explore the ai domain in biomedical engineering comment all your questions i would be responding to all comments within the first initial hours and i'll see you in the next till then let's learn and grow together signing off it's your biomed bro